Liv Morgan is the new women's world champion with some inadvertent help from Dirty Dominic Mysterio. And there has been some crazy theories cooked up over these last couple of days since she won the title that involves Dominic Mysterio and the love triangle he's in with Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. And we're going to dive in to these theories and much more coming up on this episode of Wrestle Digest. But... Before we get into it, we just gotta say that 97% of you guys watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel, so if you want to keep up to date on everything that's happening around the wrestling world, make sure you down below and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, before we get into the love triangle, we gotta talk about Brock Lesnar, and we got a big update on him today. Uh, we're... A reporter from Ringside News said despite the WWE lifting the ban on mentioning Brock Lesnar's name in their programming, sources indicated to Ringside News that there's no indication of his return to the company anytime soon. And Brady, I want to see the return of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar as much as the next guy. Just hearing that there isn't any talks of him coming back anytime soon is really sad to hear. Uh, You know what? This might be a hot take, but I don't care to see Brock Lesnar come back to the WWE. Now, it would be cool to see Lesnar versus Gunther, but, like, come on, man. Lesnar has had those WrestleMania main events against Roman time after time after time after time. And, you know, I like Brock Lesnar is the beast incarnate, no doubt, and he's a huge guy and he's a huge draw. But the way the WWE is right now underneath Paul Levesque, like, let this man cook. We got those guys like Gunther. We got Ilya Dragunov to work with. Finn Balor needs to get back into that world title picture. So personally, I'm not phased by not seeing the Beast. But uh, let us know in the comments, guys. Do you want to see Brock Lesnar back in the WWE ring? Yeah, like you said. Because I don't care. The, the <laughs> last time Brock Lesnar was here, kind of left a sour taste in the WWE Universe's mouth because, I mean, it was Brock versus Roman year in, year out, year in, year out. And everybody hated it. Nobody wanted to see that match again. And, Except you know, for Vince. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's kind of why, you know, people are, are like, you, like yourself, don't want to see him back. But personally... I think there's still a lot left in Brock Lesnar. Not even just, you know, as that, you know, big, you know, guy who comes out, beats you up. He's going to retain the championship night in, night out. Not just that guy, but I think, you know, throughout Brock Lesnar's career, we've always seen him with the wise man, Paul Heyman. And I think maybe giving Brock a, a run, like, like he kind of did it with when he had the cowboy hat and he was coming out. But I think him coming out and just showing that side of his personality, especially now in the Paul Levesque era, would be really fun. And if he does come back, whenever that may be, it does say that he's not no plans to return anytime soon. This is just me kind of theorizing what I would like to see for Brock. I, I would like to see him maybe start his own faction. I think that would be really cool. We've always seen uh, Brock as that solo guy. The guy that everybody's afraid to face and stuff like that kind of became the undertaker of, of this new era uh, during, you know, that type of reign. Like, people never want to face the undertaker. People never want to face Brock. So maybe seeing him come back, maybe. I'm just going to put this out there, Brady, because I know you like this idea. Maybe yeah. we get a Southern Boys faction with <laughs> Brock Lesnar and AJ. You know, get the that Southern kind of vibe, the 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 Wild West type of faction with Brock Lesnar at the helm. I think he has the personality to do it. We've seen it, seen him on all these podcasts, just displaying you know his you know how he is in day to day life. And I think if you bring this to the WWE, it could be it could be something the WWE fans get get behind really well. I mean, dude, I'd let you cook with that for sure. Uh, Southern boys, tag team division takeover would be crazy. But uh, again, it would be cool, but we got too many tag teams as it is, man. And when are we going to see Pete Dunn and Tyler Bate with those titles? Make it happen. New Catch Republic. I'm all here for you guys, man. I'm all in for New Catch Republic. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, I'm a big fan of those guys. I think their time is coming very soon, but uh, I know it sucks to hear that Brock Lesnar isn't returning anytime soon. Obviously, he was in that hot water, and we're not going to talk about all that, but I think, you know, maybe in a couple years' time, maybe a year's time when that kind of all gets washed away and it kind of goes into the back of the memory of the WWE Universe, we will see him return, maybe not as the Beast Incarnate, but maybe he just comes in as himself, because I would love to see that for Brock Lesnar. I think he has so much more to show 
show than just the big muscle, the UFC fighter who's going to cut you open and stuff like that. And I, I would just love to see that side of Brock Lesnar before he hangs up the boots. But we're going to get into everybody, you know, everybody's favorite topic here on, here on the video uh, about like what this love triangle between Dom Ray and Liv Morgan uh, is. And then we have to take a look at it here. It says this Liv Ray theory is wild. And yes, it is. And as we all know, at King of the Ring, Dirty Dom slid that chair in to Becky Lynch for her to use it on Liv Morgan to win the championship. But Becky didn't use the chair. Instead, Liv used it to her own advantage. DDT and um, uh, Becky onto the chair, then hitting the Oblivion to become the new Women's World Champion. And obviously, that didn't make Dominic Mysterio very happy. So we thought, after the match, when Liv Morgan posted on her Instagram uh, a picture of her as new champion. Dominic Mysterio liked that picture. And you know who's not going to like that very much, Brady? And that is Mommy. As we Mommy. know, Mommy and Dom have been the dynamic duo of Monday Night Raw for a very long time. We've loved seeing Mommy and Dom, at least I have. And I think... You know, kind of getting Dom swaying to the other side now with Liv Morgan, it seems, in all these backstage promos and stuff. We see him getting out of the same car. We see him coming out of the same locker room. We see him coming to help Liv win the title, inadv inadvertently, air quotes, because I think there may have been, you know, something cooking up behind the scenes where it didn't look like Dom was going to help her, but he did. And, you know... That's, you know, who's not going to like that? And that is Rhea Ripley, the one who's been so devoted to Dominic Mysterio over this long time. And we know that Dominic has, you know, his heart is with the Women's World Champion. So maybe he, he switches sides to Liv Morgan now. And one theory that we've seen going crazy online right now is, you know, we've seen it before, Brady. That is Dominic Mysterio in a referee's jersey. There is a lot of people talking online right now about when Rhea returns, uh, that Liv and Rhea are ultimately going to fight for this Women's World Championship because it was going to happen before Rhea got injured, but then she got injured, Liv's not a champion, I think we don't see her lose that until Rhea comes back, maybe she loses it and gets it back before she comes back or something like this, but everybody's saying we got the love triangle, we got Mommy, we got Liv, and we got Dom at the top of the pyramid, so... Will we see Dominic Mysterio put on the striped shirt and be the special guest referee for this match? Because, Brady, I think this would be such a fun match to watch. This would be so entertaining because Dominic Mysterio knew exactly what he was doing at King and Queen of the Ring. Sliding that chair in, coming out of nowhere like that. Nah, that was all placed. That was all planned. And... He, he gave himself up by liking her Instagram post, man. With the title, you know, that had to uh, infuriate Rhea Ripley, dude. Uh, I know one person who's certainly happy, and that's, uh, that's Buddy uh, Buddy Murphy, Buddy Matthews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, poor problem for him there, but uh, Dominic, referee in this match? My God, what a lucky guy for starters. And secondly, who do you pick? Do you helm your new... Uh, world champion, or do you do you helm mommy, the one who put you on top, the one that carried your faction and made your faction? I mean, it's gonna make for an exciting, uh, an exciting few months for sure, man. To see Dominic build all this with Liv, and you know, maybe he slowly weans his way out of the Judgment Day and gives us more uh, more opportunity for that Finn Balor turmoil to happen, which I've been talking about forever, and I'm still wanting to see it. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody does. But before I break down my analysis on it, we got to bring up the graphic here, Brady. And that Someone is cook. Triple H cooking yet again, because all this stuff that, that he's been doing to, you know, help this Dominic Mysterio kind of storyline with the Liv Morgan and the Rhea Ripley and, you know, kind of tearing him apart from his mommy to go to maybe his stepmommy, Liv Morgan, Ooh. has just been uh, amazing, obviously. We're big Triple H guys here on the channel. We love what he's doing with the WWE right now. But, uh, like I said, my breakdown of it, I think this would be the perfect way to 
end this whole story with Rhea and Dom and Liv and Dom would be for him to special guest referee this match because like you said Brady it would kind of pull at his heartstrings does he help out Liv Morgan the person who has filled in as his stepmommy while his mom has gone off with Buddy Matthews or does he help his mommy coming back after how many six months or more and, and, and you know that kind of feeling from Dominic Mysterio we're going to see in the ring he's going to be the center of this it, it's going to tear at his heart strings to either help his stepmommy or help his mommy which you know it's going to be interesting to see what unfolds but I think this is the perfect way to do it and I really really love this series because just seeing that emotion from Dom in the ring a side of Dom we really we have never seen to see that in the ring as him as a special guest referee for him to maybe try to count mommy down to a three count and he almost gets there and stops or on the other side, maybe we see a, a, a riptide and he gets there and he almost gets it, but he can't do it. I think this is just a perfect way to end this whole Liv Rhea drama. Look, there's only one way to end this. And that's a custody match of Dominic Mysterio. Custody match 2.0. Let's get it. The title is on the line. And <laughs> I mean, you know, have Dominic ref his own custody match. Let him, let him, uh work on some antics, you know, feel things out. Let's see what corner he wants to take. I'm super excited, man. Like, Dominic Mysterio, round of applause for Dominic Mysterio. Round of applause for Dominic Mysterio. You are bringing the uh, Latino heat, my man, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm real, I'm real proud of you, Dom. Yeah, I mean, this, this kid's the future of the WWE, and just what he's doing right now with not in-ring wrestling, because we know how good he is in the ring. I mean, yeah. just how good he is at, at, at doing these you know, promos with the crowd booing him. You can barely hear him on the mic and <laughs> how he's doing in the backstage, like behind the scenes, like creating all this drama, liking the Instagram pictures, you know, m walking out of the same dressing room as Liv Morgan. I mean, you know, mommy's got to be upset about this. She's, she, she's not happy that, you know, Dom is drifting over to the light side, I guess you could say, in Liv Morgan joining the revenge tour. But uh, I just think this would be the perfect way for all this to end with Dominic Mysterio at the center of it and just see how he can ma ref this match with with you know his stepmommy and his mommy i'm gonna keep saying it because i love yeah, that it's I hilarious mean, is is mommy on top or is the stepmommy on top it's gonna be interesting but we're gonna hear your guys thoughts on this match this uh, this uh th theoretical match uh, uh, with uh dominic mysterio special guest referee is this how you would like to see this end or would you rather just have a one-on-one -on -one with one of the goat referees in the ring i think dominic mysterio needs to be involved in this some way and i think having him as a special guest referee would be perfect and like brady said i mean the downfall of judgment day is imminent it's going to happen soon so while having this match while the Judgment Day is on the de on the decline, would be the perfect way to do it. And we're really excited for it. We got to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. We're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here on the channel, uh, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to the only Matt that matters. What a name. He says, Cody needs challengers that feel like a legitimate threat. And Matt... Buddy, I couldn't agree more with you. I mean, they pulled off a fantastic match at King, of the, at King Queen of the Ring, Cody and Logan Paul. I thought it was a great match, but never going into that match, I was like, oh my God, this is it. Logan Paul is going to win the championship. I can't believe this. Or even AJ Styles, Brady might disagree. You know, going into that match, I was like, oh my God, it's AJ's time. You know, it's he's going to be Cody. He's going to dethrone Cody. No, he hasn't had a legitimate legitimate threat to beat him for the title. And do I think there's one on the roster? No. So how are we going to dethrone Cody Rhodes? That's listen. There's only one answer to that, and uh, he's coming. Yeah, and do you, we don't know and when. Do you smell it. <laughs> he's coming. We don't know when, but yeah. I'm talking about Uncle. Howdy, oh. Wyatt Six are going to gun for Cody Rhodes. They're going to gun for the tag titles. They're going to gun for the women's title. They're going to take over, and we're going to have Wyatt Family 2.0. I you heard love, it here first. I love that. I love that. I, I'd really like to see Uncle Howdy as the champion. I can't even imagine that. But it's either the wide six, 
Either, or it's either The Rock. I think it's those yeah. two guys. Yeah. Maybe Roman Reigns comes back. Maybe we see that. This, that's the three guys right now in my mind that I think could take this championship. Is there anybody else on the roster right now that I think could? No, you can make an argument for LA Knight. But I don't think LA Knight's quite there yet. I think he's one of the most over superstars, don't get me wrong. But I don't think he's going to be the one to dethrone Cody. Will they have a match? Yes. But... We want to hear your guys' thoughts on this as well. Who do you think dethrones Cody Rhodes? This would be an interesting video. If you want us to talk more about this, make sure to let us know. We will do definitely put out a video if you guys are interested in it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You know, where are we at now, Brady? About like 22, 2300 subscribers. I mean, it means the world. It means the world to us. You know, in such a short amount of time for us to get this much support on the channel, it means a lot to us. And if you guys find yourself coming back, maybe it's your first time here and you want to stay up to date on everything that's happened around the wrestling world, make sure you're down below and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, leave a comment. You might be featured on the next comment of the day. Let us know who you think's going to derode Cody. Let us know about this theory we kind of cooked up about Dom, especially. Guess. And let us know yeah. if you're Team Mommy or Team Step yeah. Mommy. Let us let know. Us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know. <laughs> Definitely, if you're Team Mommy or Team Step Mommy. But if you want to check out a video we did the other day, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, Casey, alongside my co-host, Brady. We'll catch you in the next one. Mommy's on top.